the What to Read Next podcast helps you build a TBR of future favorite books. In each episode, Lori and Maine interviews authors and book influencers to recommend books they loved for you to pick up today. If you're an avid reader, always looking for your next free read, then the show is Welcome to the show. So happy to have you back. So, oh my gosh, let's see. Well, December 17, 2020. 2017 was the first episode of the podcast and so if you think about it December 17 2022 it'll be five years from podcasting it is a project that I never thought it would last this long (laughs) and I look forward to five more years and celebrating 10 years of podcasting I just never thought it would be this long (laughs) so history of me and podcasting I've been podcasting since 2017 2015 I had a show that lasted about six months and then I took a break for six months and then I started another show, lasted about eight months and that show led me to reading and so I spent two years reading nonstop. I read like a, literally like 500 books, like I'm not exaggerating. It was like 275 plus 360 something books. So almost 600 books I read in the span of two years. And so when my friend Clara proposed the idea, let's start a bookish podcast, I was like, you know, that sounds good. I've, I've done podcasting, it'll be fine. I had no idea what the bookish podcast world would look like at the time. Um, there were some shows, but I did not listen to any of them. So I did not know what was out there. I was just like, oh, it sounds like a good idea. I'll just talk about books with my friend. And lo and behold, the podcasting world has shifted, has changed, has dramatically has grown. There's like hundreds of bookish podcasts now, and it's amazing. It's amazing to make friends and talk to the people about books and show and like and like talk about our passions. So yeah, so the podcast has changed. Obviously, um, we start as a as a dual guest show. And then it turned into a solo, solo host show. And then it turned into, you know, inviting influencers to talk about their reads. And then a few years later, I started with, like, author interviews. And 2020 happened. And so <laughs> there were a lot of author interviews because we were not leaving the house. And so the podcast shifted a lot. And there is stuff that I want to change. There's stuff that I want to keep. There's stuff that I'm just going to have fun with it. As long as I'm having fun with it, I'm just going to keep the show. Um, and that's like my motto. So there's a couple of things that I may just do more often, like solo shows like this. Like I'll try to do one or two a month just to share what I'm reading because I'm actually reading a lot of good stuff. Um, after being in a reading slump for most of this podcast season, um, I'm finally back into myself. I'm finally back into reading for fun and reading for mood reading. So there'll be more solo shows like this where I'll talk about like, what I'm reading seasonally and like what I enjoy and so I hope you look forward to those and you get some ideas of what to buy what to borrow from your library what to borrow from Kindle U and whatnot so all right so in this solo show I want to talk about holiday books because I actually have made a concerted effort to read more holiday this year um my history with Christmas is just kind of like touch and go it growing up it was it was a difficult time um because my parents had a store and so we were never seeing during Christmas time we didn't get to experience the fun stuff um it was like rushing 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 because people were still only selling selling and then you know Christmas was just like they were just like de-stressing so it wasn't like anything like I look forward and like oh it's so great and then I had to see a family that I didn't want to see so so it wasn't like great and so I moved out in when I was 18 I went to college and um when I was 25 I started to stay in New York where I was living at the time or in different places where I was living at the time not going home for Christmas because the Christmas tickets were expensive and so I've experienced most of my Christmas over the past 20 years by myself and it's just been it's been lovely like overall like it's not it's not as sad there's you know there's no gifts but there's actually like you know I cook a great delicious meal I read a book I watch some movies or watch some tv and just enjoy the day and so Christmas is just kind of like a place to reset for me it's not something that I have like fond memories of like family and stuff like that it's just like it's just one of those things it's been it's been healing right now so We'll see where it goes. But my Christmas plan this year is to stay in my apartment in Tampa and probably like cook a delicious meal. 
Um, I'm not sure what I'm cooking, but <laughs> it'll be delicious. So that's what I'm doing. And so in order to grow up, because I'm like, I no longer live in a place where it's cold weather, because that's the other part. I grew up in a warm weather Christmas. And then I moved to, for about 20 years. I lived in the cold weather Christmas time. And I, I did experience some white Christmas one year. So um, I was like, well, I have not been living in that area. So I might as well just start, like, imagine being in the snow, you know, the cold weather. So I picked up a, quite a few Christmas books over the past few months. And I think in some ways my season of Christmas reading is over. Um, I want to preface this. I have some in the TBR that I'll mention. But I been switching things up and I'm reading 2023 titles so we'll see where it goes but in this episode I'm going to talk about all the Christmas books that I read this year um, and I'm going to I'm dividing them up by levels of heat right, whether they're close door a little spicy and very spicy and so hopefully that gives you an idea of like a range of what to look for there's a mix of traditionally published books and there's a mix of books that are great on audio as well as books that are available in Kindle Limited. Um, there's novellas here, there's like a little bit of everything and I'll tell you all about it. So all right so let's get to the recommendations. So the first area that I'm looking for is closed door romances and they're holiday romances so not just Christmas. So the first one is The Seasons of Love by Helena Greer. This is a Christmas tree farm um, where Miriam inherits a farm with this group of friends and cousins and they had to the farm is struggling so they had to take things into their own hands and create a business plan and make the farm sustainable for years to come there's a it's a sapphic love romance um it's cute but it's you know overall it's a cute one if you like for just kind of like a holiday spirit with it there's some jewish representation but it's like it's pretty light on the jewish representation i wish there was more but it's pretty light but it's still there so it's there um, the next one is a cat cafe, a cafe, cat cafe Christmas by Cody Gray. Um, this is a hit or miss. I would tell you, I like cats, so I found the whole cat angle of cat Instagram stories like super cute, and I loved it. Um, but it's suspend disbelief. Like it's very like Hallmark movie. She's like grumpy. She doesn't want business in her business. She's not like social media. And he's like her his business is to create more business through social media. And they clash and they have like opposites attract. But overall, it was cute. This is close door to um, it was cute. Like just a lot of cats. So if you like cats, this will be a good book for you. Um, and then finally, this is a novella. It's a friends to lovers novella, road trip romance called Let Us Know by Cassie Cross. This is available in Kindle Limited and it's super short. So if you're looking for something short, something easy to read, then this one is a good one. It's called Let Us Know by Cassie Cross. Now let's go to a little bit of spice. So this, what I mean a little bit of spice is like there's, there's some scenes where there's not, it's not as explicit. It's not like in your face or, you know, or like, like like diablo pepper spicy so we're gonna work with those um so for a little bit of spice i have snowed in with a player by rebecca chen shock so this is a new adult college romance set in arizona in a cold weather arizona so did you did you know that it's snow in arizona i did not know but it does so this one is set there um it's a cabin stuck in a cabin with my brother's best friend and who have been having a crush all this time. And so it's really cute. They both mutually find each other and they finally come together. And they're like, there's a scene where they lose power and they have to stay in the bed, chair wedding warm because it's only, there's no power. <laughs> so it's forced proximity at its best. And then there's a follow-up from novella with her other twin sister, which is brother's secret rival. You know, secret love with her brother's rival. So it's really good. So both of them are great. You can buy them as a bind up in in paperback. They come together as two for one, or you can just buy them separately. Um, these are not Kindle Limited, um, so you do have to pay for them. But if you're interested in my thoughts about Snowden with a player, I have a Boobs Mask episode with Kelly Reynolds and Boobies and Newbies that came out um, a few weeks ago. So you're more than welcome to, and I'll link them to this. To this episode and um, the other one that i read and when because i i was talking to leslie from she reads women's books is a very merry romance a very merry romance by lisa k adams and this is the fifth book in the Bromance book club 
um, series. Um, it was a second chance, one night stand. It's great on audio. I listened to it on a whim. I was like, what, what would you expect to it? And I was working that day, and I was like, I just don't want to work. I just want to listen to this. It's a country star and a lawyer who happened to have a one night stand. He wants more. She does not want more. But sometimes the circumstances bring them back together. And we see this romance blossom. Um, and of course, they read a holiday romance because what else can they read? So it is really cute. It's great on audio. I would definitely recommend you just listening to this book as opposed to reading it. Um, and then let's go for some of like, you know, little, let's work on the spice level. So the next one is that I want to talk about is Murray Little Me Q by Sierra Simone and Julie Murphy. And we've talked about this. Um, it's a spicy Hallmark movie featuring adult performers. It's cute. Um, there are toys, but they don't use the toys, which is kind of like a missed opportunity. But if you're thinking about like boy banders and like, you know, Hallmark movies and like how they produce them and like, you know, adult entertainments and this book is for you. It's really cute. I listen to this on audio. I start reading it and I struggle with the reading part but i found it audio was like the way to go so if you're looking for a good audiobook to listen to this one is for you um the next one so this is christmas jenny holiday so um this is an opposite of track and we see lovers they're working together she's a consultant coming to this rural town we read most of the i read most of the trilogy for um the christmas presents for christmas um, trilogy from jenny holiday that she's been releasing for the past three years and so this book actually is the third one and it's really cute. Um, you get to be in the town, the rural town, um, that's very Christmas-like. There's chocolate, there's snow, there's clocks, there's stuff like that. There's like people who are cute. There's like a Christmas, like a Santa person. So this book was really cute. I listened to this on audio. It was great, great on audio. I think this series is great on audio. As opposed to reading those books, those are just like great, like, you know, spend the day doing chores and be transported to a Christmas movie. So, um, the next one is Santa Maybe Baby by S. Doyle. Um, it's an enemy to lovers Christmas ornament company opposites attract, and they really are opposites. He's like a finest guy, he's a CFO, and she's like the Christmas artist. And he's like, You're like my complete opposites, I don't trust you, I don't believe in you. And she's like, what are you talking about <laughs> so it's really cute they're spicy it's it's a short novella it's not a short novella it's like a novella length but a little bit longer than novella length and they're really good and if you're interested she wrote this series is part of a three book series with s doyle julie crease and molly o'keefe and so there's two other books in the series and they're related to the same setting um they share some of the characters and some of the information but it's like it's fun you know stuff and these books are available on kindle limited um speaking of my friend kelly um, and i talked to her about boobies and newbies she oh she wrote a christmas novella this year and i love the fact that it's a warm christmas novella it's meet me in los feliz and it's actually um it's an la based novella with a 30 something odd actor and a British, you know, baker, <laughs> tea baker. Um, and so it's really hot. It's really steamy. Um, there's sure mentions of the work, hawk and pussy and all the fun stuff with it. So it's really good. Um, so if you're looking for a spicy, warm Christmas novella, I said in LA, made me less feliz is for you. All right. Um, the next one is we're going to chat about this year's our, or last year's trio of novellas between julie chris s doyle molly keith this one sat in a kringle fresh kringle um in our christmas tree farm so it's a family and there's three siblings and they each get a book so the first book is the first book that i read was jingle bell beer by julie chris it's the third book in the series but i read them like out of order and you're totally fine um this is a hockey player who's been like away from his family and his Look past love of his life reaches out to him and tells him like you need to come home and help us out she has she gets a job with the family she's struggling and he's like okay i'll come and it's their novella it's so cute um you get to see a hockey player just be back in like a holiday town just doing like author signings and all these different things and it's just really cute and the the scheme is on point 
The next book that I ended up reading was The Grump Who Stole Christmas by S. Doyle. Um, so this one is a Christmas tree farm owner, well, not manager, um, who happens to live in her parents' house, and a city girl who basically has to come back home because her dad is like, um, he broke his foot, and so she's like coming to fix the situation. And really, so like the business is struggling, so she has to fix the inn, the tree farm, the stuff. And so they clash a couple times, She, um, but they come back together, and it's really cute. So it's really cute. It's a really cute one. Um, and then the final one that I read is Very Merry Married by M.O. M. O'Keefe or Molly O'Keefe. And this is We Get Married in Vegas. And I did not know who you are until a year later that your video goes viral. And I come back as your wife so I can get a divorce. And it's so cute. So instead of giving her a divorce, he just offers her a job to work as family business. And she takes the job. And there, that's her romance. It's really cute um how they come together they kept it a secret she comes back to it she's like no i'm i'm gonna come out as your wife you know um she's a vegas showgirl and she's like she's out of the job right now so she's like finding her way um and it's really good she has like a she she's working at the inn like managing the inn and there's a bunch of kids who are just hanging around and so she helps them put together christmas tea christmas pageant and it's so cute like oh, the kids were so cute they stole the show so this is like a good one um and those three books are available in kingdom limited the next book that i read listen to is love life farms by bk borns and it's another christmas tree farm um there's quite a few christmas tree farms as you can see um this is fake dating best friends to lovers i'm roman so basically um, the Christmas tree farm was struggling and the owner was like, well, I can join this like social media contest, but I, I pretended that I have a boyfriend just to see like more light about me. And so she asked her best friend to be her boyfriend and it's cute overall. It's a cute one. It's very Gilmore Girls, very small town romance, like very like the small towns involved. It's very Stars Hollow, but it's cute. So I listened to this. The, the audio is available on Hoopla. And in the script, and then the um, the book is available in Kindle Limited. All right, this is the one that actually the book that I am the most happy, excited, the love that I read this year, and I read it in one sitting. And I mean, in one sitting. I literally I started at seven o'clock. I did not finish until eleven, and I was like, I need more of this. And it's Tease the Season for Revenge by Morgan Elizabeth. So the book is. Legally Blonde Reimagined. So Warner breaks up with Elle. And so in this case, I don't know her name. Um, the douchebag boyfriend breaks up with her, with the girl wearing her bunny suit. And she's like, what do you mean we're breaking up? Like, she was like, I took care of you. I did everything. And like, you're breaking up with me. Like, what the fuck? You know? And so she he basically works up and so she was like i need to make revenge for this and so she gets in the app and she sees that her boy her ex-boyfriend's um partner and law firm partner is in the app and she matches with him and she's like i'm gonna date him so i can go to the christmas party for him and it's just the damien who's a hero is so good he's like so nice and like such a good guy like such a good boyfriend it is spicy just holiday just set in new york it's just like so freaking good <laughs> this book was just like i don't know like you have to i actually wrote um a listicle in the blog for 10 books to read after tis the season for revenge so i'll put the link in the bio but uh, and the link in the show notes but you should definitely look for it like please read tis the season for revenge if you're looking for a fun, frothy, fun, just delicious book to read. It's a Rebel Kingdom Limited. I don't think there's an audio. I think this is like the sleeper head of the year. Every year there's like a one indie romance that just becomes a head. And this is the one that's this year. And it's just, it would not disappoint you. Um, and then finally, I just list, I just read The Christmas of Comet Valley by Meg Reading, which is a holiday reimagined. And I'll tell you, I don't remember anything about this book, so... It's in Kindle Limited. It's a novella. If you like holiday movie, the holiday movie, this isn't one of those. But there's, if you like the holiday movie, there's a couple holiday um, reimagines. There's a holiday trap, which is um, by Rome Parish. I started on audio. It's a bit one hoopla and scrub. 
and it's basically two couples who swap places and they're just like they find love um the holiday trap is longer for my taste it's 12 hours and i try to like listen to books that are eight hours i don't know about you but like eight hour books are like my thing 12 hours i'm like it's a struggle so um so if you like the holiday that that's another book to listen to um and then my skip or miss and it's because i personally don't like santa as a hero i don't find it appealing whether it's fake santa or real santa i just don't it's just not for me um but fake santa apology tour by julie olivia um if you like santa as a hero this book is for you um i just did not care for it um and then some of the books in my TBR are The Holidays by Je- Brittany C. Cherry. She came out with this book um, last week. So it's on my list for it. Um, the Holly Jewel by Kelly Garner. The Mistletoe Problem by Anya Barlow. Slay so You'll Stay with Michelle Garifalkis. Gar- 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 I cannot say her name. But I'll put it on the show notes. So Slay You'll Stay. It's a cowboy um, illustrator cover. Um... The Naughty and the Nice Claus by Kay Callahan, which is not in KU, and Holiday Romance by, I'm not sure who's the author, but I'll put it on the show notes. Um, that one is a holiday romance. It's about best friends to lovers who are going to Ireland, and they're just like a rom-com, and that's not available in KU. That's probably why I haven't, look, I haven't added it. And so those are some of the books I have read, and so I'll put the TBR list in the show notes, so look for those um, so you can have those ready to go. And yeah, so if you have comments or suggestions or book suggestions, you can DM me at what to read next pod on Instagram, or you can shoot me an email at laura at what to read next blog.com. You can send me an email and I'll be more than happy to add them to my TBR and talk about books. And yeah, if you're looking for suggestions, personal suggestions, you can do the same thing. I'm an open book. I love when I hear from listeners and be like, hey, I tried this book. Did you, do you have suggestions for something else? I'd be more than happy to help you out. So keep me posted. Um, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day. If you enjoyed this podcast, feel free to share with friends, subscribe, rate, and review the show. This is the easiest way to support the podcast. For a list of books mentioned and other romance recommendations, please visit whatreadnextblog.com. Did you know you can purchase audiobooks directly from your favorite local bookstore? With Libro.fm, you can pick up more than 250,000 audiobooks, including bestsellers and recommendations from real booksellers. You'll get the same audiobooks at the same price as the largest audiobook company, you know the name. But you'll be part of a different story, one that supports your local community. If you're new to audiobooks, there's a perfect way to squeeze into more reading to your busy life. Listen with the free Libro.fm app while you do your chores, walk your dog, relax at home. The Watch Read Next podcast has a special offer for our listeners. Get two audiobooks on Libro.fm for the price of one with your first month of membership. Use code Watch Read Next. This offer is only valid for new members in Canada and the U.S. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.